So today what I'm going to discuss with you is creating an aquatic animal on a piece of uh, paper from an old book. And there are some a series of steps that you're going to go through to get to this point in the drawing where it's completed. So the first step is going to be creating some thumbnail sketches. So here I have some thumbnail sketches. And remember, the thumbnail sketches are very small sketches that really show what your plan is and what you're going to be doing in your drawing or painting. So I've drawn small rectangles, and these rectangles represent the edge of the paper. So they would represent this part of the paper. And then inside of those, I've started drawing my chosen aquatic animal. And remember, your aquatic animal could be anything from an otter to a deep sea creature, but not an animal that's in water like uh, an elephant wading into water. So something that lives and thrives in water. So now that I've got my five thumbnail sketches completed, I'm going to pick the one that has the most movement and the best composition. So when I look at these, this one has a little bit too much empty space so the composition's off. Some of these do show movement and I think that this one on the bottom shows movement the best. So here's my main animal aquatic animal and then the a smaller one beside it. So then we're, what we're going to do next is create your initial drawing that's eventually going to be transferred onto this paper. This paper is sort of thin, so we want to work out all our details and um, do all our, our racing on a different piece of paper because this one, again, is very thin and it will get torn up. So what I'm going to do is take my piece of paper that I'm going to be using and I'm going to trace it. So here I've already traced it out and I'm going to start drawing that out onto this paper. So I'm going to look back at my reference material and I'm going to start drawing that out until I have the completed drawing with all the details and with everything where it should be, everything moved around, um, erasing where I need it, and I'm adding in where I need to have a little bit more in my composition. So all of the sketching, all of the drawing, all done so it would look like this. So here's my completed drawing. So you notice I've got a lot of details I did all my erasing, so I don't really need to go back and do any more. If there's some extra lines um, in here, that's okay because you're going to be transferring the image onto your book page. So your next step will be tracing. So if you have tracing paper, this is the best idea just because you'll be able to see uh, what's going onto your paper, onto your tracing paper, much more easily. And if you do it in pencil, you might be able to use this side to transfer. Now, if you don't have any tracing paper, what you could do is maybe go over your lines with black marker on this paper and then whatever paper you're transferring onto, whether it's in a piece of newspaper or an old book page, you could take this and uh, tape it up to the window. And then you could see through what's uh, this page and start transferring your image. It's going to be a little bit more difficult than just tracing it and transferring it, but it will work. So you're going to continue tracing and uh, until you've got the whole image drawn. 
So here I've got my whole image drawn. And I'm going to transfer this onto this other paper. Now, I've got pencil on this side. So I've traced it this way. And I've got, I've got pencil here on this side. What I could do, I want, I can just turn it over and I can use a ballpoint pen and trace it. So you want to use a pen to trace. Or if I want to keep the composition the same, where I have this small creature on this side and the larger one on the up this side, then what I'm going to do is flip this over and go over it with pencil. Some of you might have done this before in elementary school where you're going over your own lines with pencil because what's going to happen is we're going to trace over this and the pencil is going to transfer. Now this is best done with a 6B pencil, but you could use any pencil if you layer it on thick. And you continue to do that until the whole thing is completed. Then you're gonna turn it over and you're going to take a pen. Pen works best. You could use pencil if you don't have anything else. And you're going to very carefully start going over your original lines. And when I lift up the paper, you can start to see that my image is transferring. Now make sure though, when you are have this lined up on your paper, you have exactly where you want it before you start tracing. Otherwise, it's gonna be misaligned and um, you're gonna to want to start over.